Briefly, too, I know we were talking about the lawyer topic before, but I want to bring it back for a second because one of Hollywood Life's favorite people, Kim Kardashian, is uh, getting her law degree right now. Yeah, and I so wanted cool. to hear like what your thoughts are yeah, on that. Yeah, and what your advice would be to Kim. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for her. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it does take a long time and to, to get your law degree. And I think the legal industry, it's a very noble profession. And so I'm excited for her. I'm excited that she's interested. And I'm thrilled for the work that she's doing. I mentioned that I've done pro bono work. So Kim Kardashian works a lot with Brittany Burnett. And for for those of you who are listening who don't know what pro bono work, it means it's working um, for free. Yes, yes. Free legal work. Sorry. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. So so I mentioned that I do pro bono work and Brittany Barnett is the attorney who works with Kim Kardashian and Brittany and I are co-counsel on a North Carolina case. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so. So you and Kim are almost like this. <laughs> I don't know you're about like that. hand in hand. No, because... no, no. Kim and I have never actually met or personally <laughs> but talked. You, but yeah. You're, you're, but you're working with somebody that Kim's working with. So Brittany is a lawyer, an attorney who's training Kim, correct? I don't know if she's training her, but when I know that yeah, I know that Brittany Barnett is one of the attorneys doing a lot of the pro bono work that Kim has supported. So if you've heard about Alice Johnson being yes. released from prison, Brittany Barnett is the attorney who worked with Kim and Alice Johnson on that Fabulous. specific case. So, and so Brittany and I are co-counsel on a North Carolina case that's sort of similar to the other pro bono so work. So you're I've done. involved with helping to get it are they all women or women and men released? No, from no. No, no. So the so the two so my stepdad and I have, are also working on a case, and then me and Brittany Barnett are working on a case. Both of our clients are men, and uh, we are working with people who generally have been sentenced to excessive sentences for low level drug crimes. Great. So my stepdad and I, he's an attorney, and our client has been sentenced to life in prison oh for a low level drug crime. And so we've been working life for in prison? life in prison. Yeah, for and I can't like tell you how staggering that is to talk to somebody on the phone. I remember the first time I talked to our client on the phone, and he said. You know, I, I'm going to spend the rest of my life in jail. How long and, has he been in jail already? Uh, I believe well over 20 years. Oh my God. I want to say it's like 21 and what or 22 did he do? years. Low level drug crime. So he was sentenced pursuant to a three strikes law. Oh, I so see. you may have heard of mandatory minimums yes. and three strikes laws. Uh, which in theory sound good, right? Like, you know, that, that society yeah. would be so angry, like, stop right. doing this. Like, if you do this the third time, you're going to go to jail forever. But in, in our client's case, it was possession, possession, possession. And this is, you know, possession of obviously drugs, which, you know, I think years ago you may have heard about like the war on drugs. And many of, of these course. many of these laws were um, you know, promulgated during a time when people were like, we need to get drugs off the street. They're killing people. But there's I can't think of a person who deserves to go to jail for the rest of their, their lives life. for possession of drugs. And in our case, in our client's case, these, these were small amounts. So, yeah, so, so that's why he was sentenced to life in prison. But that's why these laws, like three strikes laws and like, like mandatory minimums, in theory may sound good, but in practice hurt people, right? Yeah, because, terribly. you know, exactly. In our case, our client wants to be rehabilitated. He wants to go out and work and has plans to go out and work. And in his case, you know, the law has, has left him in, in a jail cell and deprived him of freedom, you know, and it deprives our country of somebody who wants to work and give back to society. So, and we're, we're Continuing it also to work costs with us a lot of money. Like oh, it's it our sure taxpayer does. dollars yes, to does. keep a person who's not violent and mm -hmm. is not going to commit another big crime out. The, and probably no crime at you're all. Making my case yes. for me. We might need you on the team. <laughs> so what happens when since you're Miss USA right now? Like to your clients through the year.